Hey, hey, everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. Um, I might combine this with the video that I uh, recorded yesterday just because, just because. I don't know how long I'm going to talk. It all depends. But anyway, if I don't combine it, then you just get two videos, two vlogs back to back. On my way to go get breakfast and get on to work. Um, Y'all. <laughs> so, first of all, I am the boss lady. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog today. Car ride to work <laughs> that's what we're gonna start tiling these car ride to work <laughs> day whatever oh wait y'all so i can't remember if i told y'all but one of my videos i was telling y'all about how right here this little intersection be so icy why one of my neighbors that live on this street right here someone came through here and hit her car y'all i was so upset for her because she not only is she one of my neighbors but she's also, um, she's a pillar to the community. You know, she's been in the neighborhood for 40 years plus, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, she's an elder. And she, you know, she doesn't have great health right now. You know what I mean? She doesn't drive anymore. But she has, I guess, like her son or whoever drive her around. And y'all, they hit her car. She only had that car not too long. I would say a year two years tops i was so upset i was like oh my god you know i you know called my husband told him and everything so um but anyway that was husband <laughs> um but yeah i was just like so just saddened by that because i just thought that was just so you know just not right and i'm sure they didn't stop you know because people do that these days hit a car and keep going so I just felt really bad for her. But anyway, so speaking of, you know, pillar of the community and, you know, being around for a long time, I'm not sure how old Miss Lorraine is. And y'all never meet Miss Lorraine. She'll probably never see this video or whatever. So I can say her name, you know. I didn't give her her last name, so we're good. But anyway, y'all, Cicely Tyson, I am still messed up. Like, I was on... What was I on? That old book face. And I was just on it for a few minutes because I was, you know, eating or getting ready to eat. And uh and boss man, he he's feeling a little better. I mean, I didn't really check in with him this morning. I kind of like got up, got dressed, and whoop out the door. But anyway, um, but he was feeling yeah yesterday. Well anyway, we're getting ready to sit down to eat. And, um, y'all, I must have, I think I scrolled, you know how you do like this, one up, then two up, the, by the third swipe of my screen, I saw, you know, Miss Cicely Tyson has passed away. Yeah, I was like in tears, and so I looked at the timestamp, and it had been posted like three minutes before I had even seen it. I was devastated. Now, I don't know her. I, I don't okay so let's let's get that out there no I don't know her no I never met her I didn't have the privilege nor the honor but Miss Cicely Tyson baby if you don't know who she is look her up cause she got her resume out the gate she has been an awesome woman in my life little do she know cause you know we don't know each other but and not that I ever wanted to get into acting. That's never been my thing. But just her her poise and the way she carried herself and all the things. I was just like, yes, you know. Oh, my God, there's this movie. I forgot what it's called. But she's in this movie with Lawrence Fishburne. And my husband, he liked the movie because of the the story behind it. But he didn't like her character. He, he felt like, you know, oh, in the movie she's a busybody whatever and I said well busybody or not she still know her stuff you know and I have a few of her um a few of her movies and stuff oh my gosh I just I felt so bad you know <clears throat> but have you ever noticed that when someone passes away if they're affiliated with something all the affiliations come out because there was something that she was affiliated with I did not know I mean I didn't know but Anyway, isn't here nor there. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Make no bones about it. I just, I am sad that she is gone. 
I was just like, oh my gosh, because you know, the other day or other week or whatever, when Betty White's birthday came, and I was like, wow, Betty White, she done made the 99, and I said, okay, I said, well, we don't celebrate her, let's celebrate Sissy Tyson, and here we go celebrating her life, her legacy, and now her passing, oh, it just did something to me, just kind of, you know, made me feel some kind of way. So I, you know, after kind of watching it, and I kind of posted a little bit, cause I was, you know, I was feeling some kind of way. I was liking to see like the stars who were posting. Um, then I just kind of, you know, I logged off. I had to, I was like, I cannot, you know, and then people were, you know, posting and saying stuff and I just, I had to, mm, I was just like, I, I gotta log off. I just, I got to, cause it's like, I never say, like, well, I put it this way. 2020 has put things in perspective. And so now it's like when someone passed away, I feel, it's like, I feel it so hard. Even if it's someone I don't even know. I was like, oh my God. So yeah, that really hurt my heart. You know, I was just like, oh my goodness. Because, matter of fact, <clears throat> what were we watching? Miss Peter and I, about a week, well, a couple weeks ago, we were watching, we were doing like a Medea um, marathon, the Medea movies I have. And she was in the family reunion. And when she was speaking and talking, and oh, and now I want to watch it even more because I love that scene when she's talking to the family and, and saying how, you know, the families need to, you know, and the reason why I bring that up is because y'all, you know how people say family's important, family's important, and you need to be about your family, and your family this, and your family that, but then have you ever noticed that in some families, maybe all families, but in some, you're like, wait a minute, Y'all supposed to be family, but you treating each other like this, you know, or you'll sit back and you'll hear folks talking. I'm like, but ain't that your sister? Ain't that your brother? Wait a minute, that is your mama, right? I mean, you not adopted, that's your mama. You you got some bones about how you were raised because they did the best they could on what they had. You know what I mean? Oh, now you're better than your family members because, oh, you done got a, a master's degree or two masters or a PhD? Come on now. Or, oh, it's good for video purposes or picture purposes, but on the back end, and I ain't got time for that. You know what I mean? So, I definitely, I'm going to pull out that movie this weekend because Miss um, Pena don't know her verbatim, but I did make mention. I remember I said, that's Cicely Tyson, you know, and then I was kind of showing some other movies that we have at home um, that have Cicely Tyson in it. But anyway, um... Yeah, I, you know, but that part in the Medea movie when she's talking about the family, when they're at the family reunion and, and everything, that is, I mean, just, it was like that one little blurb. I was like, yep. And it, it always resonated in my soul because, you know, I, I pride myself on being about family. But then when you think about, like, the extended family and, the you know, the different generations, it's like, our family ain't like that, you know, either side. So, um, but yeah, because child, let me tell you, folks and families, families and folks, mm, you know, you thinking, oh, well, I've been, I've been at this for however many long, and then someone just come and just ran on your parade. Like, they telling you what to do, but you've been doing it longer than they have. But they feel, because, oh, they got education, or oh, they can say something, baby, shut up for real, I mean, you know, but that's family, you know, and, and everybody said, oh, well, you know, families aren't picture perfect, you right, no family is picture perfect, and if you see a family, and you talking about, oh, that's family goes, child, you better reassess, you better pray, and ask the father to work on your immediate and no one else, because don't, don't sit up and look at somebody else's family thinking that, oh, they, there's his family goes, because honey, everybody got something. Everybody got something. And if they tell you, uh-uh, my family perfect, know that they lying. <laughs> know that they lying, okay? I'm just being honest. I'm being real. Man, I'm telling you. Like, Sister Tyson was like a, she was like a, a grandma to me, you know, on the screen. 
man, I just, that just bothered me that she's gone. And so, y'all remember, like, when I go get my breakfast and stuff, I told you I like to go to one location because I like the lady who's there. I like her because she's, she's like a, she's an elder. She's definitely an elder to me. Um, and I just, I like her, her position. You know, she's not, she's never rude. She's always nice and happy and whatever. But, you know, you gotta respect your elders and stuff. Cause man, this is just crazy. I cannot believe this line as long as it is. Are you kidding me? Like what they ordering everything on the sun? I got 13 minutes, child. Mm. Whew. But anyway, so yeah, I had to take a little time off. I had to, you know, social media gets on my nerves. And you know, I'm definitely gonna start uh I was thinking about this the other day and I'm really thinking about it more now. So this will be a goal for next week. You know, I'm gonna get through the weekend and what I gotta do or whatever, but starting, cause Sunday is the first day of the week, at least in our household. And I'm gonna start Sunday and I'm gonna limit my social media presence, uh, my social media interaction, uh, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, I'm already limited on that. So, you know, I post on Twitter like once once a week, if that, once every two weeks, whatever the spirit hits me. So I'm not really concerned with that. But, yeah, I'm going to start limiting my presence. I'm going to start limiting my interactions with text messaging. Um, as far as phone calls, I don't really have to worry about that because, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, this this right here, this this is not it. I mean... And the reason why I say I'm unlimited is because I'm starting to feel consumed by it. And whenever something consumes me that doesn't mean me no no earthly good, it's got to be shut down. It's you know it's just got to be shut down. So, um, and I know because of 2020, you know, <laughs> you know that bad word 2020. Because of 2020, I know a lot of us were more like in tune to the internet and whatever, whatever, you know. But I gotta. Mm -mm. I, I gotta re reassess and refocus because having the accessibility to me, I have to cut it off for my own personal sanity and and uh, emotional health. Because man, and you guys know I already don't watch TV, so a lot of my news I get is from the internet. But like getting that news yesterday, it really floored me. So hold on one second. Okay, see, now, now I done got irritated because, let me put my window up because I'm sure he can still hear me. <clears throat> so, on Fridays, there's a different person who works the window. Y'all, it's that same person from the other week. Because I think I came last Friday. What did I? Yeah. Or whatever day. The, the same, ooh. Ooh, I know everybody need a job. Everybody need a job right now. Because folks don't have no jobs. I mean, shoot. But this don't make no sense. This man right here, baby, he, he about ready to get his uh boss called on him. I mean, how you got the line backed up like this? This don't make no cotton picking sense. And now I'm going to be late. Because I got nine minutes to get to work and I ain't even got my food. Mm. But today, 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 today. It was necessary to get something to eat. I finally didn't even eat until just last night. Let me put y'all on pause again. But my girl was at the window, so it made it all better. She said, happy Friday. Hmm. Anyway, child, but that little, that little boy thing, whatever he is. Ooh. I'm telling you, I be trying not to go there with people. But, I mean... You messing up my day playing on the microphone. That line should not be that long. I got eight minutes, y'all, to get to work. Jesus, help me. Be a fence, a fly swatter, and some wings. Whew. Anyway, anyhow. So, but yeah, I'm going to have to reduce my time. Because I am just... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to reduce my time, y'all. Reduce my time. 
matter of fact, I'm not going to even post yesterday's video with this. I'm just going to keep it rolling from here. So, so I will just say what I said in yesterday's video, y'all. So, um, so now that I'm going to scrap that video, you don't know what I'm talking about when I said boss man's feeling a little better. So boss man was hurting his, his ear. Yeah. He texts me on okay, it's Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. He did not feel good. So we didn't have date night and y'all know how I am about my quality time. Okay. And if you don't know, if you're new, boss lady prides herself on quality time. I have had date night on Wednesday forever. Okay, at least since 2010. So I pride myself on having my date night every week. And I tell people, don't bother me on Wednesday because that's my time. So anyway, he didn't feel good. And I was like, oh Lord, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go to the doctor. You know, and we got this little bum insurance right now. So I'm like, oh Jesus, you know, I'm doing everything in my power. I mean, vitamins and supplements and <laughs> You know, shaking a foot and praying and to prevent from having to go to the doctor to use this insurance because that insurance is ridiculous. Anyway, so I was able to take care of him, you know, so we didn't end up having date night. It was, you know, me and Miss Peanut night because he was sleeping. He had to get his rest. He ended up taking off work yesterday, Thursday, because, I mean, he was like in pain and I was just like, Lord. And so I was ready to take him to the hospital, doctor, whatever we had to do because... I was concerned and worried. Also, what I said in that video is, um, you know, starting a business, the stress is real. It's really real. Um, people don't talk about, like, startup costs. They don't talk about um, how to prioritize. They don't talk about uh, just business in general. Especially if you're if you're not a business major or whatever, then you know, but you just want to do your own thing. People don't talk about that, you know, or people will make it seem they'll give the impression of, oh yeah, it's easy, and girl, and you make your money, and da, 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 you know, or they'll put you on this platform of, oh well, you know, this person's making this many figures. So, and I'm gonna get more into you know the business that I'm doing and all that stuff later, not right now, but. When I first had reached out um, to someone in reference to starting this business or whatever, um, the person that I talked to was very, mm, she was vague, okay, her customer service was horrible, um, but she was very vague, and as opposed to, like, really honing in on what my question was, or you know, or were she just threw a multi-million dollar or yeah, a million dollar person at me and and was like inspired to be this. Now, everybody who's anybody, kids, whatever, aspire to be millionaires. Anybody who's any I don't believe that anybody on this green earth says, I want to be broke all my life. Or I want to be poor. Or I want to live check to check. Everybody aspires to be a millionaire. I don't need to watch nobody's video about being a millionaire. You know what I mean? So, delivery was all wrong. And I was put off. Until I inquired with someone else. Then that person, especially being of a spiritual background, hook, line, and sinker, I was sold. So, you know... So I say that to say, if you are in the business of doing a business, even YouTube, you know, meet a person where they're at or get to know the person where they're at. Don't don't automatically be like, yeah, you know, YouTube, you're going to make thousands and thousands of dollars and you can do it full time. You know what I mean? You got to start somewhere and more than likely you got to start so, uh, small. You know what I mean? So... So that's what I'm going to say about that. Because I was very put off. I mean, literally. It's snowing? Are you kidding me? I just came from the suburbs and it wasn't. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Oh, Lord. And you know when it's snowing, you got to be cautious. Because um, folks will not drive. Yeah. Anyway. 
So that be that on that particular topic. But I was getting um I was getting a bit overwhelmed <clears throat> with the whole, you know, starting out a business and all that and you know, and one thing I do know, and this is something that I learned a long time ago, if you're going to start your own business, even if you're not doing the business of the business, touch your business every day. And so that's what I was doing, right? You know, from from the time I said, yep, I'm signing up, until now, touching the business every day. Yesterday, I was like, I'm going to take some time off. Well, no, Wednesday, excuse me, because I said it's date night. I'm going to take that day off. Not going to do nothing business related. Well, I already had messed myself up because I was doing some business stuff during the day. Excuse me, during the day on my break. So I messed myself up there. Then once, you know, I got home and boss man wasn't feeling well and then he went on to sleep and whatever, I got up doing business stuff again. Then Thursday came. I said, you know what? I'm going to leave my business stuff at home. And I still end up doing some business stuff during the day on my break. But the one thing that I did do that I do believe was healthy for me and my business, I did a webinar. And if you recall, I did a webinar mm, a couple months ago. Um, and it was an all-day webinar. Well, this one was just like an hour, like a lunchtime thing. But I, I was still working. I was doing the, the job that pays me, okay? Because, you know... <laughs> Anyway, so I was doing the webinar and I was working and it really gave me some nuggets to chew on, which I appreciate. Um, and then I, you know, once I did that, I said, okay, now I got to get to a point. Oh God, it's eight o'clock. I still got like three stop signs to get through. But um, once I did the webinar, I felt more empowered, you know. Um, and they really talked about, you know, not getting burnt out. Because if you get burnt out in the beginning, how are you going to flourish? You know what I mean? So, and that's where I was getting with everything. Like, you know, I don't live and breathe this stuff. Okay? Not yet. You know, this is a hobby. Just like YouTube is a hobby. So, if I make a couple coins, okay. You know, something to do. But, um, you know, but I, I, I want to make some coins. Okay? But, you know, I can't get stressed with it. Just like with YouTube, I knew, I remember there was months ago where I would just get mad. Like, dang, you know, everybody else is doing this, 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 and this, and I'm still whatever. Now, I could care less. There's people who started after me with more subscribers than me, and I'm just like, okay. You know, they may do some, something that I don't do. And people like that. That's fine with me. Or there's been people who started the same time I did and they just took off. And I'm just like, okay. I mean, you know. So, if you don't get yourself out my way, I don't know what you doing. Lord have mercy. But anyway, so I said all that to say, you know, yes, I'm working on my own business. Yes, I'm trying to, you know, get things together. But I'm not going to stress myself out to the point where it's like, I don't want to do my business, you know, because what's the point? You know, especially now I invest in money, child, and, but see, and that's what I was trying to say too. People don't tell you about the whole startup cost of things. I mean, they'll say there's a startup cost, but they don't go into, sorry about that, somebody was called, but they don't go into like how much it costs, you know, but luckily I'm a bargain shopper, praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am a bargain shopper and I will be working on some things this weekend. Hopefully I'm gonna go to um not Menards. I'm going to Walmart and I'm going to, you know, take my list with me and work on some things. But as far as like being stressed out and you know, I can't do social media every day all day long. I work a job. I just I do. So, you know, that stuff for me is just it's too much. It's too much. I can't do it. I'm like, look, mm -mm. but anyway, that's what was on Boss Lady's mind today, y'all, okay, I know I gave y'all a whole bunch of little stuff to, oh, let me comment on this, but wait a minute, she don't talk about this, let me comment on it, child, pick it, choose it, and comment, share, subscribe, 
Put on your notification bell, and I'll see y'all in a new video. I won't be doing a big haul this weekend. I think it's going to more or less be groceries because a sister need to go to the grocery store. And I want to go back to Costco. So, y'all have a great day. Have a great night. See y'all in a new video. Bye.